Welcome back. Today I want to tell you about something that can happen as you are practicing meditation. Even if you are not practicing Kriya Yoga, you might still encounter this. And I want to make you aware of it, even though I've only talked to maybe 5% of the yogis that I've talked to have encountered this. Still, it's very good to be aware what this is, what it might feel like, and what you can do about it. So let's get into it. So I, I told this story before I was in the ashram and I would do these group meditations with the other monks and I would reach a point maybe an hour and a half into the meditation where I would feel the need to burp. It was a digestive response that was just coming up completely spontaneously and I would feel the need, oh my God, I have to burp. I'm in a room with other monastics. I can't make a sound and I have to burp. And I eventually trained myself to burp silently so that when this arose, I could release the digestive response and not disturb anyone. And then very, very interestingly, the time it would take for that to show up would shrink and shrink. So then it was showing up at an hour, then it was showing up at 45 minutes, then it was showing up in a half hour, and then it was showing up in 15, and then it was showing up in five. So I'd sit down to meditate and all of a sudden this digestive response would start clearing through me. And so I would burp for a little bit and then it would just completely clear and be gone. I thought, this is just the strangest thing. And nobody talked about it. Nobody mentioned it. I couldn't find any reference to it. Then I studied with my guru, Ashokji. He taught me Navi. And the Navi would do this before I entered into the proper meditation. And I thought, oh my God, Lahiri Baba, you're a genius. Why has nobody told me about Navi before? the Navi Kriya. And so I would sit and I would do the Navi Kriya and right away it would awaken that digestive response and I would feel this bit of energy coming up the front of the body into the chest region and I would feel it would come up into my throat. I'd feel the need to burp. So it would come through the front channel in the body, the ventral vagal. I would feel the need to burp. I would burp and then it would clear. And it would clear very, very quickly with the Navi Kriya. I was just amazed, just amazing. It all, it all makes sense. It all fits. And nobody brought it up. Just amazing. Then some years later, I started counseling other yogis. And every once in a while, I will find a yogi or even just a, a meditator. So this gentleman, I think he was doing some Buddhist meditations. He told me, you know... I get this feeling and it's rising up in the front into the region of my heart and it just kind of stays there and it feels like a pressure and not a great or wonderful pressure. This, what is this? And I thought about it, I thought, oh my God, I think that, I think that might be the digestive response and it's clearing through your ventral vagal. Yeah, he says, well, it, it doesn't feel very good. It's getting stuck right here in my chest region. So I taught this meditator to burp. As if you're your friend and you're teaching your other 10-year-old friend how to swallow air and burp, right? I didn't, I didn't have to walk him through it, but I said, would you just start burping when this comes up? And he says, well, I feel some right now. And he burped a few times. It completely cleared. Isn't that amazing? So it was getting stuck in the region of the heart and allowing himself to burp. Some yogis will also yawn. Allowed that to clear. It finished its journey and released. And I thought, that's amazing because I've never heard that. I've never heard that anywhere. And this is working wonderfully. So the process that arose through me naturally, that's what I taught to him. Just go ahead and burp. And it released 
release of energy traveling through the ventral vagal, getting stuck in the chest region. It finished its journey and allowed it to escape. Just the other day, I was talking to a student and he said, you know, I am feeling this energy coming up the front of the body and blossoming into my heart region and I feel a little bit of pressure. I said, that's it. That's that release of energy through the ventral vagal. And what the Navi is doing, the Navi takes it one step farther. It says, okay, we're going to release that energy in the front of the body and then we're going to attempt to transfer it to the back channel. And the Kriya Yoga takes place on the spine, on the back channel, on the dorsal vagal complex. Why? Because we want to get into the wonderful freeze response, that ever so natural freeze response, which happens every night in sleep. Totally, totally natural. That's what we want in deep meditation. It is the freeze response, which creates the sense withdrawal in the yogi. Pratyahara, that is the dorsal vagal complex in action in meditation. Beautiful, right? Isn't that amazing? That's why we want the dorsal vagal. And that's what the Navi Kriya is attempting to do. So if you haven't seen the Navi, go back and watch the Guardian video and learn how to do this technique. The longer I work with Navi and with other yogis and I see the benefit of practicing Navi, it's, it should be taught in school. <laughs> it would be wonderful if it was taught in school, if everybody had this to help them clear out fear, clear out this digestive response, transfer a little bit of energy to the dorsal vagal. Just absolutely amazing. It it's just blows my mind. So I want to make you aware of that, that you could possibly have a digestive response, a clearing through the front channel, either through Navi or through Kriya Yoga or through any meditation. It could happen spontaneously and arise that the ventral vagal decides to clean itself out and that energy can rise up into the heart, feel slightly uncomfortable. And if that does happen to you, simply yawn or burp and allow it to escape. You're opening up and finishing the pathway so that this does not feel stuck in one area and so become uncomfortable. Like I said, it's rather rare, but I think it's worthwhile to let you know about. You know, Jung said that synchronicity is the natural state, the state that we ought to find ourselves in very often in life and wonderfully, one of my students called me up and they said, you know, I I'm having this pressure come up through the front of the body and it's sticking in my heart and it's very uncomfortable. What should I do about it? And I said, well, you're going to have a video tomorrow. But until then, we've got to find a way to release it up through the heart, up through the throat and out, which means you have some choices. So you can burp it out, you can yawn it out, you can sing it out, and you can yell it out to connect the heart up into the throat. Or you can imagine that there are just little tiny levels right above the heart. So I feel it's a little bit uncomfortable here, and then I ohm right above it, and then I ohm right above it, and I ohm right above it, and I ohm right above it, and I ohm to let it all the way out. And we did that. We did that together. In fact, I barely described it and boom, it released. It came out and wonderfully, we let it go. So in Navi, we're taking all of that and we're putting it straight into the back channel, the dorsal vagal complex. But when it's uncomfortable, we don't care. Just release it, okay? When it comes up and it feels stuck and it doesn't feel great, just release it. How do we do that? Yawn, burp, sing, yell, or om, 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 and allow it to come out and release. So I hope you love this. If you did, be sure to hit that bell down below so I can see all of you.